So let's see. Let me move. Let me move our faces. <laughs> I don't know where to put them. Okay. For now. Can I put our faces down at the bottom? Will they go horizontal? Let me see. I'll just minimize. Oh, there. Look at that. Learning every day. What was the uh, verse number in Isaiah? Uh, Isaiah 2620. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So here is um, the access code starts right here. Let's see. Wow. Um, uh, hide for a little. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Something's not right. Oh, well, my access to code, uh, it switched to an angle. What do I got to do to go back? Why did it do that? Uh, yes, yeah, uh, one of those keys. Not, let's try the, uh, to, to the left one. All right. Try that. There we go. No, because this is my try access. Uh, hit it one more time. Okay. And see what happens. See. Did it do anything? No. Let me see. Um, um there we go. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. All right. So here's my access code. It is, um, uh, all right. So what I did was this is these three letters here, het, bet, uh, yod is hide, which is the word habi, H-A-B-I. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Top, mem, ion, tet, let me see, is um, kimat, the word kimat for a little. And I went right to the uh, either Bible Hub or interlinear scripture to get these spellings. So I've been doing that to make sure they're correct. Very good. And so that is uh, hide for a little. Okay, so... Um, the next one, the light blue, which is in two, let's see, it um, goes right up here. This is to my people, the word ami, A-M-M-I, ayan, goes up, hold on, ayan mem yod lamed, um, to my people. And, um, Okay, and then the orange is in the secret of his tent. So there's two vertical here. Wow. There's one right here, another one here, and they're all over really. And there's one in the in the scriptures there. So that was ten times I follow, and that's the word a hollow, a h o l o w, um, Aleph, hey lamed. Wow. And that means in his tent? In the secret of his tent. In the secret of his tent. Uh-huh. And then in the blue, the dark blue, which is three times, so it's over here. And then it's up this way. And then it's right here. That is the word... Um, Dober, Dober. Um, I added a hay so that it would put in, but um, Resh Bet Resh is um, so the Resh Bet Resh is uh, the pasture of the flock or a remote place. So I added the bet um, so that it, I could have more than three letters to make sure I could find it without it filling my screen and um, yeah. So in in the pasture or in the remote place. And then I want to go right while I'm here to this black one. It's only here twice. And it's refuge of me. Wow. Ma, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ma, mashisi. Mashisi. Uh, oh, mahi, mahisi, maybe. Mahisi. Mechasi? Okay. 
So I thought that was pretty cool to find refuge of me and then the word for pasture or remote place. I thought that was pretty cool. And then it's down here spread way out in the black. Now this is a width of 20,855, oh, this table. Okay, so then after the remote place is um, this light green right here. And it ends, um, let me see. It's the menace or the fury or the, in, in Isaiah, it's the word for indignation. You know, when it says in some, some versions of the scriptures say until the indignation is passed. Um, in the interlinear, it said the word menace. So it was Zion, I, and Mem, and I added a hey for the. So it's like, hey, Zion, Ian, and then it's, I believe it's the same mem right here. What inspired you to enter that? Uh, well, it's in that Isaiah uh, 2620. It says, go into, um, one second. Oh, I see the menace. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Zion. Oh. It says, hide for a little moment until the fury is past. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then this red right here is only here one time, and that is the word passes, so until it passes. And that is the word, or it also could mean be over until, it be, until it's over. Um, it's the word ya'abar, yod, ayin, bet, wa, resh, right here in the red. And then... Um, the burgundy, of course, is um, I just by hand found these, by sight found all the yod hey vav hey I could find for Yahuwah. Well, and it's yeah. in the dark burgundy everywhere. I thought this was pretty cool when the orange and the secret of his tent ran into his name. And then, okay, and then one time in this pink right up here starts with kuf dalit. Sheen Kaf is um, holy. One time it's holy. And then um, this bright green over here that goes across is the word for moment. Like to, so you're going to hide for a little. And I wondered if I could find the word moment in here so that it would be there. And it's there one time. <clears throat> And that, um, hmm, I don't have what the Hebrew, the, the literal word is. I don't have that right here with me. Um, the purple, let's see if I can find the purple. Now, this purple right here, so this actual purple color, it's one, two, three, um, is the word for devastating. So, it's another word like, um, I found another scripture, I think out of Psalm 91, where the word was devastating. I was kind of just seeing the two because they were kind of similar in meaning. And um, um, and then uh, this yellow is wormwood. And it's there three times, I believe. So one two, and then up here, oh, four times, three, and then four. And that is spelled Lamed Ayan Noon Hay. That's correct. It can also mean gall or bitterness mm -hmm. or as poisonous or hemlock. That's and right. I, yeah, and then... Such an inspiration, I guess got to say. Uh, <laughs> and then... Um, Oh, what color is this? I don't know. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Hold on. I redid my notes and um, let me see if I can see it. I see in the mountain of Ephraim up at the top there. You do? Yeah, well, you, you've got a Lamed. If you go to that Lamed on the top line, all right, and then go down one line uh -huh. and then over to your left until you get to the Bet Hayresh. Uh -huh. Hayresh, okay, that right there is in the mountain of Ephraim. Which wow. is really cool because uh, I found something like that as well about uh, 
um, I think it's David uh, fleeing into the mountains of Ephraim. Um, there's also a reference to Yeshua going to the mountains of Ephraim. Mm. So that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I think the rest of those letters would be in the black there in uh, Ephraim. So now I have to find this other one. I have one that's called um, Refuge of Me. And I didn't. Oh, oh, that was the black. Okay. That's why I couldn't find it. It's in the black. Uh, Refuge of Me. And then there's one more. Um, oh, I already did that one. The red. So passes. So that's all the, the ones that are in there. Um, let's see if I can go to one of the scriptures. I, I did this one up here because I thought that was interesting how they intersected. They yeah. Mm -hmm. If you, if you shrink your, your um, screen down to uh, there, to the other one, the, uh, the next, in the middle, there you go. So do they do that? You want them to go to a tile of three so you can see your. Um, oh yeah. Where was I? I, I had it. Yeah, just go up to the top and hit that middle key, that, that middle one, which is a, it's a, like a double oh, page or something. Yeah, okay. that'll, that'll shrink it down to that. Uh -huh. And then go down to the bottom left and grab your other one and hit, hit the same key uh, the, to the left, to the left. All right, now uh -huh. hit the middle key for that. It's the middle one. Okay. There you go. It'll also okay. do that. And then down at the bottom, you should be able to pick up um, the matrix as well. Hmm. Down at the bottom? Yeah. Where? Right the here? bottom left, is it not down? No, no, it's not down there. I, <laughs> I know. Ooh, let me see. Huh. Well, oh, now I don't know what to do. All right, so um, the English up there, do it uh -huh. full size. Do, do, do the English in full size. Okay. And then, and uh, then we're going to close it out. Okay. Close it out with an X, the X there. Mm-hmm. Right. All right. Another now, time. Minimize that one. Minimize. Mm-hmm. And let's see. Do we have any tabs down at the bottom? I can't see because of the just uh, one. Just one, no. and it's that. Yeah. So let's close that one out and see what happens. Okay. Oh. Oh, there now we go. Now hit, hit. Well, hit, go, hit the middle key, up. Yeah. Now hit the middle one up at the up at the top. Now. This not, one. No, no, nope, nope. Down. There we go. Right there. Hit that one. Okay. Now grab the bottom of your. Um, you're gonna have to grab it with your cursor and, and shrink it up. Oh, I am, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now what do I do? Or, or um, either the top or the bottom. You can kind of grab it. You know what uh -huh. I mean? Hover until you see, go up a little bit more, just a little bit to the edge with your cursor. Uh, yeah, I don't there know how to go. do that. There you go. Yeah? What, bring it down? Yeah, bring it down, squish it down. Like that? Yeah. Should I, should I go to tile again and try to make the tile? Right, yeah. We, we, it had you in tile and, uh, oh. yeah. Oh, I know what to do. Hold on on my computer I can this is what I'm going to do I'm going to go here and then I'm going to try to do Hebrew and maybe it'll give me okay now if I do minimize um, well, hit your tile key again hit your tile key again okay there you go and now I now can do English. yes and then it should give me three. Oh, brilliant there you go <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Now you can so, um, see what it is. So then if I go now, let me ask you this. If, um, if I want to like check this out right here, which is where I s sort of started, does that mean it's this one right here? Probably. Yeah, that's 220. That, right. Yeah, yeah. You see your two, your two letters, your black and your blue letters there. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the, Oh, so I'm in first Samuel mm -hmm. 220. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, okay. So. Where that met, where those met, it was um, refuge of me and the pasture. So if we read two twenty, and Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife say, 
Yahuwah give the seed of his woman for the loan which was lent to the Lord, and they would go unto their own home. So Yahuwah remembered Hannah, and she conceived and bore three sons and daughters, and the child Samuel grew before, the, before Yahuwah. Now Eli was very old, and he heard all that his sons did unto all Israel, and how they lay with the woman that did service at the door of the tent of meaning. And he said unto them, Why do ye such things? For I hear evil reports concerning you from all this people. Hmm. So I don't know if that's where I want it to be. But Let's, um, um, let's see what, uh, scroll up with the English, and let's see what, uh, like 215, this, this, and 215, 260, yeah, let's see what it's, yeah, back okay. up, there we go. And so we can see what, what's going on. It's just what's going on. Mm -hmm. And Eli, the, the high priest. Okay, well, let me see. Um, See what's happening on that line where we was at the where the mountains of Ephraim uh, is going on. I wonder if uh, that's the same story as in the second line down um, in your oh. matrix. Yeah, let's let's click on those three oh. yellow letters. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah. the mountains of Ephraim. And now, so what do you where do you suggest I click when I want to do that to the outside the word or? either one either one is going to bring you to the same line it doesn't matter okay. as long as you're on that line it's going to bring you to that area okay yeah see okay so here we are so, we're so that's joshua twenty four thirty. correct there you go so it's joshua uh running to the mountains of ephraim here there you go hit that okay and they buried him in the border of his inheritance in Timnath Sarah, which is in the hill country of Ephraim, on the north of the mountain of Gash. Yeah. And Israel served Yahuwah all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders that outlived Joshua and had known all the work of Yahuwah that he had wrought for Israel. So it's a hill country of Ephraim, which is the same word, the, ba uh, the Bahar and the Lahar uh, mm -hmm. are very similar, just the bet and the lama are different, and and that makes it the mountains of or the hill country of right mm -hmm. but it's still um mountain is also the the, the base word so mm -hmm. it's the mountain of ephraim that's pretty cool it's uh mm -hmm. the same area it's in my now table. if we wanted to check this uh let's see i wanted to show just um like where the fury or um so in the green mm -hmm. The menace, like say, if we took this Zion, to me, every time I see a Zion, it means some kind of sword event happening, don't you? I mean, I, I always connect that with kind of like war or battle or just right. that letter in yep. the letter in general. So if I click that, and then I hit the Hebrew. So there it is, right there. And that is First Kings seven nine, and then I'll hit the English. Um, okay. Well, I don't know if that has anything. Let me back up a little. Hmm. And he might well if you go to seven seven and he made the porch of the throne where he might judge even the porch of judgment and it was covered with cedar from floor to floor um well connected more to hewing stones but is there anything else you want to check into as far as the verse um, uh, personally, I would just go go line by line. Just uh, when you got time, oh, oh okay, kind of go down and see what you know what's what's happening in the what? text there, and if there's anything okay. that could be um, you know in the context of the of the access. Mm -hmm. But you can you see that I'm I'm understanding a little more Absolutely. what 
what order to do things and now so this this is actually the best it's ever worked for me in in um in the method so that's great i'm very pleased with that well that's good that you can get a little bit of practice in classroom mm -hmm. uh, yes it is. ask questions mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm.